Hello guys, welcome to Little Officers. Welcome to another session on concepts and terminology for UPSC examination. In this particular video, I am going to discuss about dissolved oxygen (DO) and biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand. So these are the three terms, particularly to check the purity of the water or the pollution level in the water. We generally use these three parameters. So let us understand them. Let us see how they can be used to understand the pollution level of any particular water body. All right. So let us begin and understand about dissolved oxygen. See what is dissolved oxygen? It simply means the oxygen which is dissolved in the water. Okay. The amount of oxygen which is dissolved, which is present in the water, it is known as dissolved oxygen. Generally, it is measured in milligram per liter. That means if you take one liter quantity of water, in that how many milligrams of oxygen is present? Okay, so that we generally call it as dissolved oxygen content of that particular water. Now the question is, how come this oxygen is dissolved in the water? What are the various sources? The answer is very very simple. See, the first answer is photosynthesis. We all know when photosynthesis happens. there will be absorption of the carbon dioxide and releasing of the oxygen so that oxygen part of it that gets dissolved in the water and that is the first source second source being diffusion from the atmosphere we know in the atmosphere like close to 21% is what it is oxygen so from here you have dissolution of the oxygen into the water apart from that the wind cycles and whatever the aquatic plants that they are doing the photosynthesis through all these means the oxygen gets dissolved in the water and that is the life force for all the organisms which are present below the water all right now depending upon this dissolved oxygen content we say whether a particular water body or a particular water is pure or pollute if this dissolved oxygen content is less than 5 mg per liter we say that particular water is stressed and whatever the organism that is present in that water is feeling the heat of this lack of oxygen and if this goes even below the situation gets worse and if the dissolved oxygen content is less than 2 mg per liter then that water is not inhabitable for the organisms and whatever the aquatic organisms that they are there they might die i can give one example all of you might have come across with a word called winter kill winter kill so this happens when a water body is completely covered with snow and the interaction of the oxygen with the atmosphere or photosynthesis reduces as a result the amount of dissolved oxygen in that water body reduces and finally it leads to death of the aquatic organism that generally it is called winter kill because it happens during the winters the top portion of the entire lake or water body gets frozen and it reduces the dissolved oxygen content okay so if the dissolved oxygen content is less than 5 mg per liter then we say that water is stressed and if it is less than 2 mg per liter then it is not inhabitable okay now having understood this dissolved oxygen one more parameter to check the pollu you know pollution level of the water is biological oxygen demand what is the meaning of it it means simply in the water there are lot of bio organisms now these bio organisms what they do is they consume like whatever the organic matter that is there they will try to oxidize it so that is food for them and in the presence of this oxygen like they also do the respiration in that they take oxygen and with that they do the metabolism and in that process they decay or they decompose whatever the organic matter that is present in a water body under oxygen presence or aerobic condition at a specific temperature so whatever the oxygen needed for this purpose by the bio organisms bio organisms that means all the living organisms we simply say that as biological oxygen demand if this biological oxygen demand is more then it indicates there are lot of microorganism and they are consuming more and more oxygen and it indicates that 
there are harmful pathogens or harmful bacteria etc and that water is polluted is that clear if the vod is more it indicates pollution of the water so that is one of the indicators dissolved oxygen if the dissolved oxygen is less that it it, it indicates pollution of the water now one more parameter is chemical oxygen demand what is the meaning of chemical oxygen demand it simply means see in the water as i discussed there are organisms okay bio organisms plus along with them there are inorganic components as well some components some chemicals are there it is obvious in the water body now if you are using any chemical substance chemical substance and this substance supposed to be a very good oxidizer meaning it oxidizes i can give the example of like potassium dichromate is a very very good oxidizer generally we use that chemical okay potassium dichromate okay so when we use such a chemical substance in order to oxidize all the organic and inorganic components of a water body then whatever the oxygen that is needed for this chemical oxidant in order to oxidize that entire thing that particular amount of oxygen we generally call it as chemical oxygen demand it means the oxygen demanded by a chemical compound in order to oxidize both organic and inorganic components of a water body that we simply say it as chemical oxygen demand now as bod this is cod also if more the amount of cod required like chemical oxygen demand required it means there is more pollution in the water okay so both of them like cod bod both of them if their requirement is more it indicates more pollution is that clear now now i think there is little bit of confusion between bod and cod let me clarify it which one is best to measure the pollution of the level theek hai so in order to indicate the pollution level of a water body which one is better either cod or bod that is our point of discussion here as i said cod it takes care of only organic components by bio organisms so when the bio organisms are decomposing this organic components that oxygen demand we are calling it as bod whereas cod is what it is the oxygen demanded by a chemical compound okay often we use this chemical compound and it is to oxidize it is to degrade both organic plus inorganic components both of them have been used here so which one is the better indicator whether we are taking only organic components or both organic and inorganic components so obviously which is taking care of both organic and inorganic components that is chemical oxygen demand so this is a better indicator because it is wholesome and further it is faster and more accurate as well because it is not completely depending upon a particular water body's temperature specific temperature so it can be done in a laboratory as well we collect the sample of water we can do it in a laboratory okay so that's why this particular like cod is a better indicator of water pollution than the bod please remember this this it might come in the examination like prelims if you are to calculate the pollution of the water which one is a better indicator it is cod okay so i hope this video content is useful to you and if you have any doubts do comment even if you are liking the content of it comment and let us know so that we can continue this series with more and more concepts which are useful for your examinations thank you very much